Hey, good afternoon. Uh, so I actually just have a little bit of free time right now, so I thought I would stop by my favorite local Bay Area thrift store. I have no plan, I don't need anything, but I'm just gonna see what I find, what kind of treasures. <laughs> So this is a bit of a haul from various different trips. Whoa. <laughs> okay, well, Cookie is joining us. Uh, she always likes to make sure that she approves all the items. Don't scratch. No, sweetheart. No, no, no. Don't scratch. Since I have everything piled here, I will go ahead and get started. And ignore the wobbling. It's just because Cookie is... Um, jumping around. Okay, so this one was $4.99 from the thrift store. I'm actually going to gift this to my mom. She did see it before I was going to hide it, but she saw it right away. And she's like, that is so cute. This looks like our first cat. We had a Siamese cat named Diana. 
and so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit better and give this to my mom and then this scarf will also be part of her her gift and this is a laurel birch scarf it's so cute it has dogs and cats and it's just so so colorful this is 100 percent silk i'm a big fan of laurel birch she is a san francisco bay area artist uh, she did pass away but she was really popular in the 90s and i love her style and i actually met her in real life she used to sell um in a warehouse in hayward for that was um she would do kind of like fundraisers for the local asbca and so i'm a big fan of her art it's just very colorful she loved cats so when i it isn't that often that i see laurel birch at the thrift store but i have found a few items over the years such as jewelry and purses and, and that sort of thing so I, I i knew who this was i knew this artwork the moment i saw it so that was a great find and this was a dollar 99 so i could not be more excited um and my mom is gonna be so happy she did see it but she doesn't know she's getting it as a gift yet okay so there was one day that was my favorite thrift store had everything 50 percent off and i it wasn't in my plan to go that day i just happened to see on instagram so i was for some reason up at like 6 a.m so i decided to go on a whim and it was a really really good thrift day um everything was 50 percent off and i'll just start with the first thing that was like made the whole trip worthwhile i am a huge fan of uh farm rio I've been following this brand since like 2014 because I had a coworker that was Brazilian and she she just knew that it would be my style. She and told me about this brand, but only until 2021 was I able to visit a store. <laughs> so for years, I just would follow, I would just look online and just admire all the prints. And I happened to find this the day that everything was 50% off. I I was I saw it from a distance and I like went to it and I just grabbed it. It was ten dollars, um, but even better, it was fifty percent off. And this print is just gorgeous. And I did recognize this, like I've seen this probably on their Instagram. I can't remember if this is the Brazilian or the American uh, version. It looks like the American tag, so that's maybe where I had seen it. But I love this print. It's leopards, and you can see little leopard fa leopard faces. I just thought this is gorgeous and it fits really well. I've already worn it like twice. It is such a cute dress. I'm so happy the fabric fits is really nice. And that was a great find. Had I only bought this, I would have just been happy with that. Um, so that was amazing. That day, I did pick up two skirts that are basically the same. They are 100% silk. They were like, this one was $6.99, 100% uh, winter silks. This one was new with tags. The other one didn't have the tag, but you can tell it's like it was new as well. So this one is just a lovely kind of dark forest green color. And I, it's just a long maxi skirt. Honestly, it's really pretty. And I don't wear a ton of skirts, but I think this would be very comfortable and easy to bring on a, on a trip because you don't care that it wrinkles, <laughs> which is great because I don't like ironing. So I got that one. And then I got this one, which is essentially the exact same skirt, but it has an ombre of like light blue to cookie, my cat's here, to dark gray. So it's very pretty, very, very pretty. Maybe Cookie will join us. She's, she's having fun. So, and then... I did find these cute gaucho pants. They are vintage, whatever the brand was, was Melrose and they are 100% rayon. I bought these um, because they're really cute. They're like, they're kind of cropped and very wide-legged. So they look like a skirt, honestly, when I'm wearing them. I wore them last week. I think the print is really cute. They don't have pockets. So that's the only, my only complaint. Okay, and then this basket is very similar to one that I had seen before. These are for like utensils and um, 
I got this. I'm actually probably going to use this maybe for sewing supplies because sometimes I do work on projects like in different areas of my home. So I find it handy to like throw what I'm working on or my tools. So I might use it for that or I may save it for actually using for, um, uh, what do you call these, um, spoons and stuff. This is like for a picnic table or something like that. And then these spoons I got also at, um, at, in a, at the thrift store and these were actually on Black Friday and these were really inexpensive. I think they're like three for 79 cents and then everything that day was 50% off. <laughs> so it was a great deal. These are like brass and I got them because I do have some spice jars and I thought they'd be really cute to have in there or maybe for some of my, I like to put like, you know, my grains in a jar and sometimes I find it annoying to have to find a spoon every time. So they might just like live in the jar. Anyway, that was my plan. So we'll see. Um, but I just thought they were gorgeous. They're in really good condition. And there were some other longer ones that um, there was like less of them, maybe just like two or three. Uh, I probably should have picked them up, but I, I just got these. And then this little basket purse was from that same day. And I think this is really cute. I often bring snacks or like a lunch with me if I'm doing errands because I don't like to have to find food or buy takeout. So I thought that this would actually be really good for this size because this is like a small size. And this was $2.99, 50% off. So it was really cheap and in pretty good shape. So I probably wouldn't, I mean, I could use it. It is a purse. I could use it as a purse, but I was thinking more for, for that purpose but we'll see. Okay, and then this other robe that I bought, I um, think it is handmade, like somebody made this at home. I'm not 100% sure of the fabric. It does feel like it could be silk, but I'm not, for some reason, I'm not 100% sure about this one. It could just be like a decent quality, um, like polyester. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I picked this up because I thought the colors were pretty and I envisioned wearing this like over a swimsuit. I am going on a trip with my dad to Greece in the spring, so I kind of envisioned myself using this over my swimsuit because um, it's pretty and it has a lot of colors, so I think it would match several of my swimsuits. So yeah, it does have shoulder pads, which is kind of funny, so I'll probably take those out. Okay, this, well, this item was my favorite, also in my favorite, favorite color, magenta. This item I got at my favorite thrift store, and it was, um, no, this was actually another one, not my favorite one, but I, it's a very good thrift store nearby. They were having a, that 50% off sale, and I picked it up that day. It was just kind of lying where the blankets were, and I thought, ooh, that looks nice, and I went to touch it. It's very, very soft, like uh, maybe alpaca even. I'm not 100% sure because there's no tag, but it's just very fluffy and very nice wide shawl slash scarf. So I've actually already worn this and very happy. This was also very inexpensive. I think it was $2. So this purse I picked up at the flea market from one of my favorite vendors that I always purchase from. She has beautiful items and I saw this purse. The leather is so, so soft and it has this great pocket and a nice zipper compartment. It's just like a nice crossbody um, purse and I bought this from her and got a lot of use out of it from um, on my trip in Brazil. So. This was a good find and I'm very happy with it. Okay, this next little top I picked up and it was on the 50% off day. It was, I think, 99 cents. It's just a cute little crop top with a little tie front detail here in the front. So this will be cute in the summer. Like I feel like I could just wear this with a, a lot of my pants or skirts. Um, I do like high-waisted things. It is a little bit loose on me, so it will require a bit of altering. But other than that, I thought it was super cute. So this little tin was $0.69. Cents. I did like the print. Uh, this is The Strawberry Thief by um, William Morris. It's a famous wallpaper um, 
design. Anyway, I just like the tin. I'm going to repurpose this to store maybe tea or something, more, more tea or maybe even sewing supplies. I do like tins and I thought the color and the print was really cute. And then I also picked up this little cat. It's just adorable and it can sit on a shelf. I just thought it was cute. So cute. Hey, this little sweater is very thin and has nice fabric. It is actually silk and cashmere. It was 99 cents. It had a couple little tiny holes that I already mended and I have already worn this a couple times. It's just like a simple, like long, it looks like just like a simple long sleeve shirt, even though it is a sweater. This was just very nice quality. So I'm very happy with this. Okay, and then this little blouse, I was of course drawn to the print. It has zebras and toucans and flowers and a few leopards. So it is just really my type of print. And it's like fits kind of like oversized, kind of loose. It's very nice rayon. Oh, it also has giraffes, which is so cute. So that's why I got this one. My mom is actually going on a safari trip, I think next year. So I told her she can borrow it when she goes. Okay, and then this item, I like was so excited when I saw it because this is my favorite, favorite, favorite color. Just this like bright magenta. I just think this is the most beautiful color. And I love these like 90s silk windbreakers that I don't see that often, honestly. I always look on Poshmark for these and I have my eye on a few of them, but I keep holding out thinking like, okay, I'm going to find at my local thrift store. So I did find this. I was so excited. I was so excited that I tried it on, but like, I didn't even look at it. I just bought it. Um, and it was not on sale. This was from a different trip. And, um, I think I, I wish I had looked at it a little bit closer. I mean, I probably would have still purchased it just cause the color, I just love this color, but, um, there are some like quality issues like the elastic here is like all old like it does there's no stretch anymore and then I noticed this has already been washed as well and it might be hard to see on the, here but it does have some like discoloration on both of the sleeves in the same area like somebody wore this quite a bit it was well worn and there's like discoloration in the lining the brand is called chili pepper I like that I do like this um label. I think it's cute. It's called chili pepper, but yeah, I think, um, f the, for the price and the, the, all the damage, like I probably, I may have left it behind. I don't know. It would have been one of those pieces that I would have had to think about like in, in the store for a long time. Cause that store, like you, you can't leave it there and expect it on your next visit. Like it will be gone. It's just a very popular store. So anyway, I did take it home. So I do have some ideas, but I'm not sure. I have this yarn that is like the exact same color. So I may do some alterations on this and just kind of make it, you know, a one of a kind piece for me just to like, I was thinking maybe embroidering over some of those stains and maybe redoing the cuff with some knitting. I'm not totally sure. I need some time to like think of it, but thanks for joining me on this a little quick haul. Um, these were from different trips and I just wanted to share. It's been really fun thrifting all these beautiful things. As you can imagine, as I am collecting some things, I've had to start packing them away to move into my next home. I do love picking up cooking items. Cooking is one of my favorite hobbies. And when I moved from my house in Austin, Texas, I did get rid of quite a few things. So some of the things I've been looking for have been uh, home decor and kitchen items. I've been really lucky too that my mom also has gifted me some things to include in my future kitchen. But as always, my little helper was there to help me and get everything sorted to put away for later. I've been having so much fun doing this and having a lot of fun making these videos. So I really appreciate those who stayed till the end. I appreciate you and I hope you had fun with me. I had a lot of fun. If you like this type of content, please, please like and subscribe. I'd also love if you can give me a comment and let me know what were some of your favorite items. And I will catch you in the next one.